Hello Retail Ambassadors, coming to you uh, for the month of April with a, a more, uh, what I like to think of is a more straightforward uh, product to tell you about, and that is gel. And why is gel more straightforward? Well, uh, you know, for someone like me that deals with the sponsorship end of the business, gel is a very easy, a very easy, small, compact thing to put in uh, race, uh, race bags, to hand out as samples. Um, so quite often, and this is the case for a lot of nutrition companies out there, gels are what you'll see in um, event bags. So gels are a little more common or a lot more common than say Perpetuum, the product we talked about last month. Um, the ingredients are also a little more basic. Um, Perpetuum, as we discussed before, is a, is a drink for long hauls, right? It has per, uh, carbohydrates, protein, fats, and a whole whack of other things. Whereas gels, in its simplest form, is just carbohydrates. The carbohydrate that gels utilize, much like uh, Heed and a couple of our other products, is multidextrin. Now, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but multidextrin acts very much like a simple sugar does, in that it gets into your bloodstream very quickly. The difference between um, multidextrin and a more simple sugar is that a simple sugar is burnt off very quickly. It's like putting kindling on a fire. Multidextrin gets into your stream very quickly, but it's utilized much more like a complex carbohydrate in that it stays in your uh, system for longer and is utilized for a longer period, much like putting a log on a fire. To complement the carbohydrate mix, there are also some healthy natural sugars, which are from the natural flavoring or the natural ingredients that we use to flavor uh, the hammer gels. There are also branch chain amino acids, which help prevent muscle breakdown and aid in performance. And also two of the gels currently have caffeine. And uh, in the previous video, we talked about the effects of 25 to 50 milligrams of caffeine, which is still, you know, not quite on the par of a cup of coffee, but to some will definitely have a kick or a boost uh, in your performance. Gel currently comes in 12 great natural flavors. The three newest that you should know about are the Nochola chocolate hazelnut, the peanut butter chocolate, and the peanut butter. Uh, the last two that I just mentioned, any of the ones that have peanuts in them, also have a, a bit of a higher fat content, but also a higher protein content. There are two serving sizes to know about right now. Uh, gel comes in uh, the single serve pouch. So one of these has about 90 to 100 calories in it, depending on the flavor that you get. And gels come in a 24 count uh, box. Um, if you order for events, um, so you have a big race you're putting on, you're supporting another race, uh, quite often we'll ship these gels in a 100 count box. Gel also comes in a 26 serving uh, bottle like this. So this is our bulk bottle, which is ideally paired with uh, a gel flask. From a sales standpoint, I'd always encourage customers uh, to use this size as the sample size, so to get familiar with a, um, a flavor that they might like and to make sure that they'll want to take it on a regular basis and then uh, bump up to the 26 serving jug, because honestly the, the cost between these two, if you work, out, uh, work it out, uh, this is about half the cost um, if you were to buy the same amount of gels. Furthermore, um, the gel flask is much more convenient, in my opinion, uh, for really any kind of activity I could think of. Um, it allows you to basically consume gel with one hand. Um, not deal with any wrappers or sticky residue. Now for me as a cyclist this is especially important because you think of you know most of the time we want at least one hand on the bar but if you're consuming a single serve gel like this at some point you're having to use both hands to rip the top and then to squeeze it into your mouth. The gel flask which holds about five to six servings of gel it's already in here all you have to do is open the top with your mouth and squeeze in and then you can store this in a back pocket or bento box or something along those lines. Um, and truthfully, I don't even remember, other than just the sample flavor, I honestly don't remember the last time that I um, actively used a single serving gel. 
So again, this is the sample size in my opinion and encourage your, your athletes, your customers to use the multi-serving flask. Okay, so we know what gel is composed of. It's a syrupy mixture uh, that is made of natural flavors and is mainly a carbohydrate source, so our go-to energy source as endurance athletes. Um, there is some variances in the flavors as to having caffeine or protein and fat, but in its core, or what your customers really only need to know about, um, especially newer customers, is that it's an easily digested carbohydrate source that does not produce flash and crash, of, crash effects that simple sugared products do. So the next obvious question is, when do we use hammered gel? Well, the easy answer is that there, you can use it at really any point in your activity, um, before, during, and after. Let's break the usage down now into shorter events and longer events. So in a shorter event, hammer gel could actually be used as your primary fuel source. Whereas in a longer event, it's used, in my opinion, as a top-up fuel source. So that shorter event, so anything under three hours, where carbohydrates are our focus, you could be taking uh, a sip of hammer gel every 15 minutes to be your primary fuel source. Um, you could also pair this with heat, which is very similar in nature in that it's multidextrin as a fuel source. But this could be your fuel source every 15, 20 minutes, taking another hit of gel. Um, keeping in mind that every serving is about 100 calories, so we're not taking in any more than um, two to three gels an hour, so space those out over an hour, but this could be your primary fuel source. Um, now I'm thinking of half marathon type races too. Gel is really great in this situation when you're in the start blocks for, you know, some sometimes upwards to an hour or two hours, especially in the bigger marathons. You can imagine that your blood sugar starts to dip after you've had that meal, um, hopefully three hours before. Now, your body's going to have all the onboard stored fuel that it needs, but your blood sugar is starting to dip, and you might think that your energy stores are starting to dip. In that case, taking a hit of hammer gel will bring that blood sugar back up again, um, and the added benefit to you is that there's no problems that you have to contend with as far as digestion. For the longer events, I would always default to a more complete uh, calorie source coming in. So something that has carbohydrates, protein, and fat, ideally perpetuum, um, with also water coming in. Um, and gel is a top-up energy source in that case. So for any of my long rides, I'm always carrying a gel flask in my pocket. Um, just in the instance when, um, you know, maybe I feel like I should be taking in more calories, I'm noticing my blood sugar start to go down, or I'm just looking for a bit of uh, variety as far as my fueling goes. So when you're, when you're starting off with perpetuum, uh, here's a good example. Um, you know, one of the questions that came up uh, the last go around is knowing how much to mix in the bottle. You know, one serving is 270 calories, but that might be too much or too little for someone. So in that instance, especially if you're a bigger person or have a higher metabolism, I would definitely carry a gel flask so that when you're in your training and you do a serving and you say, oh, I don't think this is enough, and you start to dip a little bit, you have that gel flask to top that store back up again. One of the only snags you'll run into with having a bottle as being your main calorie source is that um, should you ever run low on calories or low on energy and need to take in more calories, you not only have to take in the calories that are in the bottle, but also the water that comes with it. So you might not need that water coming into your system, um, and that could actually start to work against you. So gel flask is great in that it can get that blood sugar back up without having to take any extra water. So that's why I refer to it as a top-up fuel source uh, for the long distance events. The main question you're probably going to get from most customers is how does it compare to the other gels that you're selling? Uh, now if you're like the average store, you have a plethora of options uh, to choose from. In gel, um, where it still stands above and beyond uh, most other products, as with all hammer uh, products, is that it's natural ingredients. There's no simple sugars, there's no fat ingredients, no added coloring. So um, hopefully, in a sense, it is the healthiest option on the market.